All right, hello everyone. I know that this video is really late. It has been quite a while since the tier four skills have been released and I still have not reviewed them all, but here I am and I'm going to be reviewing the tier four support skills. Of course, I am going to be doing a little bit more of a brief rundown on what these skills do. So if you do want more specific and mathematical information, the links to the sources and the information itself will be down in the description. Anyways, let's go on ahead and take a look at these skills. So this first skill we have right here is Heal. Basically, this skill is an improved version of Mini Heal. It costs three times as much, but you can use it just as quickly. But overall, I would say that if you are making a healer build or some other type of support build, uh, you definitely want to use this rather than Mini Heal because it is much more efficient, especially considering that now in the modern meta, uh, you don't really need to worry too much about how much MP you consume, so this is definitely better than mini heal. Uh, but basically what it does is at level 10, it will heal your target by 3000 HP and 20% of whatever their HP is. So if you use this on someone that has 10,000 health, then it will heal them for 5,000 HP, which is quite a huge number. And of course, if you do not select a target, then it will heal you instead. Overall, I would say as a healing skill, it is really good, but most of the time, you're not really going to, you know, need this because most of the time when you're in a party, you don't really need to heal anyone. But if you want to make a support build anyways, I would definitely say that you would want this skill. And then the next skill over here, it is Quick Motion. So it is like all of these other aura skills. It creates a little area around you, and if one of your teammates, or your party members, whatever you want to call them, is inside of that aura, they will gain that effect. Now what it does do is it increases their attack speed by quite a huge amount. It's a flat amount and a percentage. Again, information will be down in the description. Uh, it has a bit of a long casting time and an animation time, but if you are using a full support build, this would pr probably be a pretty good skill to get. And of course, it does reduce your AMPR by a little bit, but of course, it only reduces your AMPR. But that's not really that big of a problem, in my opinion, because when you're playing as a support build, uh, generally you're going to be using a staff or a magic device. And of course, when you're using a staff or a magic device, you don't generally need your AMPR that much. So I would definitely say that for a full support build, this could be a good thing to get. And then over here, we have Fast Reaction. It is very similar to the last skill in terms of its function, but instead the buff that it gives you is that at level 10, it will boost you and your party members uh, guard rate by 20% and evasion rate by 10%. Of course, it also reduces your casting speed, but I have noticed that it is a pretty small amount of casting speed, so I wouldn't really worry too much about the casting speed reduction. I don't really know how good it is in terms of like actually supporting your party, but if you want to get it, you can get it if you think that it would, you know, have a good effect on your party. Anyways, let's go on ahead and test these skills out. Okay, so right now I don't really have anyone to test these skills on, so I'll just have to go on ahead and test them on myself. As you can see right here is heal. It is a somewhat fast skill. It's not the fastest skill, but I would say that compared to some of the other support skills, you can use it pretty quickly. So if you're in like a situation where you know you need to heal your tank or whatever, you can do that fairly efficiently. Of course, on to the next two skills. Just gotta use my maximizer, hold on. So we have the, I forgot what it was called, but we're gonna go ahead and look at my attack speed right here. You can see it is pretty low. If I go on ahead and use quick motion, that takes it up by a pretty huge number. So yeah, overall I would say that it is a pretty good support skill. So I'm able to hit these guys pretty quickly. So yeah, I would say pretty nice, pretty nice. Then over to the next skill. There's my casting speed. If I use this.
doesn't take it down by that much. And of course you also have to remember that I don't really have that much casting speed in the first place with this character. So if you do have a lot of casting speed it will look like a lot less percentage wise. So I can't really, you know, I can't really demonstrate this skill to you uh, because it is, you know, more of an RNG based build. But you kind of just have to believe me when I tell you it does boost your garden evasion rate, just like it says on the skill description. All right, everyone, I hope you liked the video and found it useful. Uh, if you have anything to think about the video, go on ahead and leave a comment down below if you feel like it. Uh, I know it has been quite a while since I've made a video. But anyways, I am here and I am back and I have a lot of skill skills to review. Anyways, enjoy your day and I will see you later.